Good afternoon, everybody. This is Doc Skinner with 1028 Live here at the Sholo International Film Festival in Pine Top, Lakeside, Arizona. And let me tell you, uh, we've got some amazing films this weekend. If you get a chance, no, no, just make a chance. Create the moment. Come out here. Get a pass either for one or all days. The movies are phenomenal. Uh, they're not all feature length films, some are, are 10 minutes to uh, an hour and a half. <clears throat> And you get something special with that because they're in film blocks. You cram, we don't cram, we, we fit uh, two hours worth of those films, like a horror genre, yes. a comedy genre. And you as an audience member uh, to the film festival will get to uh, see all these films before other theaters will get to, before they go nationwide or they're on a, uh, an online platform. And so uh, a lot of opportunity, but my favorite opportunity is how often do you get to watch a film and then you have a question or you don't understand something and you're like, God, why did she or he do that? Well, guess what? At this film festival, we have a Q&A after every film block where representatives of each of the films are there to answer those questions. How often do you get to do that? So that right there is worth the ticket price right there. So right now I'd like to introduce you to introduce you to Enrique Rico Diaz. Hello, how are you doing today? Doug? Doing fantastic. And you're here with the movie Jeremy, correct? Yes, that is correct. Now, what is your role in, in the sure. film or, or participation in the film? Are you cast crew? Uh, yes, I'm uh, the writer, director, and one of the producers of uh, Jeremy. Shebang, you're, you're the, <laughs> the buck stops with you. Pretty much. Fantastic. <laughs> so, Give us a little elevator pitch on, sure. on the film and where it came from. Sure, absolutely. Well, the, uh, the log line for the film is uh, it's about a military sergeant who struggles to balance the dedication to his country and the devotion to his daughter. That's the log line, but in essence, it's about a universal theme that we all struggle with. Uh, you know, those of us that have families, we all struggle with, we want to be able to provide for our families but at the same time, when we do that, we try to work so hard that sometimes we miss out with time with our families. So it's a little bit of a balance uh, and it's a universal struggle, but this one has a little bit more of a higher uh, stakes in it because it's a military professional that actually goes to war uh, and puts his, his or her life in, in jeopardy. In this case, it's a him. Uh, so, and it's really akin to me and very special to me because I myself spent 21 years in the Marine Corps and I have a, a few combat tours and some of them I had to be separated from my family for several months. And I really like to focus on this character that kind of reveals a little bit of me because we write, you're supposed what to write you what know. you know. Absolutely. Yes. So it reveals a, a little bit of me but more importantly it reveals a, a people that I know that are still in the military and some that have retired out of the military that made that struggle and they did it continuously. I have friends that have made it out there for seven combat tours and been separated from their families. And it's really just to focus in on the struggle, the internal struggle that the individual has, whether it's male or female, because I mean, it, the military, there's made up of military male military professionals and women military professionals of all races, shot, uh, of all races and every type of people. But that struggle is universal mm -hmm. because sometimes you know while you're while you're in the the, the op temple, you know, because uh, usually in a as a military professional, you're you know you're home for a limited number of months, or you know it could be maybe a year, maybe 18 months, then you're away for six, nine months, maybe a year, then that cycle just continues. And every time you're in that cycle, when you're back home, you find yourself with a little bit of guilt that some of your brothers and sisters are out there fighting that battle with you. are not there covering their back or something. Absolutely. Yeah. And then when you're there, you're struggling with, with family. Family. I wish I was there with my family. So really wanted to focus on that, that struggle in the short film. And it's a uh, proof of concept. I've already written the feature. We have a, a little bit of funding. And we're hoping to get it off the ground and film within the next two years. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, when is there uh, your time slot? Our time slots. Our time slot, we are playing in the 11 minutes and under block. I believe it's block 13, and that is uh, tomorrow, and it starts at 2.40. Then we are also have uh, on the under 11 block on Sunday, and I believe that time is 3.40. Fantastic. 
Well, it's a great film, and uh, thank you. Um, it is a universal thing, and yes. like you said, it's just not military. I mean, doctors, absolutely, uh, law enforcement, government, lawyers, lawyers, um, filmmakers, camp counselors. <laughs> <laughs> they all have to, <laughs> to make a choice for the better yes. of man or their family. So, um, thank you for doing such an important film. Appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you, and welcome to the mountain. Thank you so much. All right. Have a great day. All right. So that's uh, Enrique Rico Diaz uh, with the movie Jeremy, and you can check it out here. And will you be doing the Q and A's? Yes, I will be. So you can actually ask the individual whose mind it came out of any questions you might have. You, I'm sure you'd be able to answer at least some of them, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, and I will see you guys with the next interview right here at the Sholo International Film Festival. Thanks. <laughs>